Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about update operation in C Sharp with MySQL database. So in our previous tutorial, we have learned about insert and read. Uh, so today we will uh, learn about update. So I have added this update button into this form. So if I double click on this, so we have created the click event of this. Uh, update button now first i will go to design and click on this uh, data grid view and i will go to its uh, events so this is the event tab and now here i will search for double click event so it will be in the d section so we will go down and uh, search for double click so if i go quickly a bit so it is here double click and now I'll double click on this to create its uh, double click event. Now, what is the idea if I run this? Now, the idea is to read the uh, uh, records, and then when I double click on this uh, one of the record, so it will get the record and uh, its data will be shown in these text boxes. So now I'll close uh, it, and now we will get the first we will get the selected row so i'll use end selected row equals and uh, data grid view std dot um, rows dot get first row so now when the row is selected so it will be become the first row and now here we will pass in the um, data grid view element state dot uh, selected and now we are good to go so i'll put semicolon here so now we will get the um, uh, cell and the value from the cell so for that we will use uh, end cell uh, value equals why I use uh, an integer value here because we have uh, we will get the ID from the uh, data grid view and which is an integer value we will convert it into integer so we will use data grid view std dot uh, rows so now we will uh, pass in here the selected row so selected row and then we will use dot cell cells and here we will pass in the cell so which is the uh, id is the first cell so we will pass in zero here and then dot value now i'll put semicolon here now it will start showing error because it is not uh, uh, a integer value so we will convert it into integer so convert dot uh, to n32 and now here i will to enclose it so now we will uh, show this in a message box and let's see if it is working so i'll use message box uh, dot show and here i'll pass in the um, i cell value dot to string and now I'll use this and I'll put semicolon here now if I run this now it is running so if I read this now we have read the record so now if I double click on this ID is shown one and now if I click on this three three is shown so we are getting the right value so now I'll close it down and now we will get the data so for that we need the um, first we will get the data so we need the um, uh, read so for that i will come here and read the data so um, i'll copy it up to here so i'll control c this and now we will uh, go down and now i'll control v it here so now uh, we will use here uh, 
this connection string is showing error because it's it is saying the uh, name is uh, does not exist in the current context so if i go to the top so we will copy the connection string as well so if i go down so i'll copy this up to here i'll control c this and now i'll control v it here i'll control v it here now i'll remove this message box as well because we do not need it so i'll make some space and now i'll remove this message box from here now i'll change the query so uh, i'll use uh, over here uh, select Derek from uh, std table via id equals and here we will use plus uh, cell value okay so now we are good to go so i'll make some space here as well as here now we are good to go now we will go down as this reader reader will read our, our, our all our data so now i'll use here while loop so while uh, reader dot read and now we will use uh, parentheses here the braces here and now if i go down a bit and here we will use a uh, text uh, box one dot uh, text equals reader um, dot get string now we will not use zero we will directly use one because at zero we have the id so we do not need the id we need uh, the value and text box two dot text equals uh, reader dot get a string and it will become two and then we have text box three dot text equals to reader dot get uh, string and we will use three now i'll put semicolon and now let's run it and let's check it if it is working so now the application is running so if i read so now if i double click on this now you can see the data is shown here now you can see it here and now if i click on this now you can see this record is shown here now now we will update this record so i'll stop this um i'll go to design and i'll double click on this update and now here we will write our, our code for update so to update we need this connection string so i'll copy this Control c this and now i'll control v it here now i need a uh, my schedule uh, connection and uh, connection uh, my schedule connection equals new my schedule connection and here i will pass in con string and now i'll use this in semicolon then we will use my schedule connection dot my schedule my schedule connection dot open and now i'll put semicolon here my schedule not this one my schedule command cmd is equal to new my schedule command and here i'll pass in 
create a query so string query equals to uh, uh, update table name std table um, set um, std and now I'll uh, check the columns names so it is a std name stdf name and std address so I'll come here std name equal to single quote single quote because it is a workout value then inside this we will use double quotes and then plus plus and then text box one dot text and similarly I'll put a comma here and now I'll use single quote single quote and then double quote double quote and then plus plus and then text box two dot text and then we will use the one single quote single quote double quote double quote and now I'll use plus plus and this will be text box uh, read dot text and now I'll, at the end I will put a semicolon and uh, now here I'll use a, a query but we need the ID so my scale connection now I need the ID and we do not have the ID here so if I go here here so we can do two things either we can create a global variable and we can assign the ID to it or alternatively we can create a label and uh, store the data into it uh, the ID into it and make it invisible and then later we can get it from that uh, label but I will do this I'll go here um, create a global variable at the top here string id uh, and now I'll put a uh, empty and now I'll put a semicolon here and now we will get here um, id equals to reader dot get uh, string get string and here we will pass in zero and now I'll put semicolon now I'll uh, go here and we will use um, here at the end of this query here we are id equals uh, uh, plus I'll come out of this plus ID. Now we are good to go and make a space here. Make space, space here and a space here as well. Now we are good to go. Now I'll execute this query. So end mm, I is equal to cmd dot execute none query and now I'll put semicolon so f um, uh, i is uh, greater than minus one so what we will do uh, message box dot show uh, data successfully updated and now I'll put semicolon here now let's run it and let's check it now the application is running so if I read now the data is read now so if I double click on this now the data is here and now if I make this uh, um, Assad and now if I click on this update 
So now we have an exception here. So you in your syntax, check the manual. Okay, we have syntax in our uh, error in our query. So now if we look at uh, the query, so we have this update spell. Mis uh, we misspell this. So update. So now it is uh, correct. And now we forgot here to use a uh, std f name equals and then if we go here we forgot here std address as well so here we will use std equals so now it is uh, created so let's run it again and check it again so now if it is uh, it is running and now if I click on this, so we have read the data. Now if I double click on this first record, now I'll change its uh, name to Asad. And now if I click on update, so data successfully updated. So now if I re read it again, so now you can see the first record is changed to um, Asad. Now if I uh, read another record, so if I click on this uh, Ali, and now if I change his uh, location to Islamabad, address to Islamabad, and now if I update this, the data successfully updated. Now if we see here it is a Peshawar right now if I click here and now if I check this Ali, so now you can see it is changed to Islamabad. So similarly, you can change this father name as well. So I think that's all part today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.